Pryhelp.com, how's everybody doing? Good. November 23rd report, our winner of the week. This is going to be an unofficial winner of the week. It kind of happened to why I thought it would, and then I got a text message late from Primetime Sports Advisor saying I may have had a number wrong with them. The rules for winner of the week are simple. If you're a regular handicapper, not just a football only or a college handicapper, you are required to play one game a day and take one day a week off. It's pretty simple. You can make the game 1.5 dimes to win 0.7 dimes if you want. If you don't like the card, it's just the way we do it because we are in the business of giving people action that they want. And we all know, no matter what, as much as you tell them you should play one game a day or 12 games a day, they want to play as many as they can. It's just how it works. That's the way we made the rule. So we take an example. We had Nick Anthony this week who had a very good week at 7-3 plus 370 units. Full-time capper, didn't make it every day, thus no winner of the week for him. Stands right now, the basher. Finishes up the week, 6-5 and five, plus 115.5 dimes. Very good week for him. In my record keeping right now, he is double winner of the week. Starting Tuesday night, the banner will be above me all week long. Highly doubt there'll be a special, but hey, you never know. Congratulations to Mick from Top Shelf Chicago, who started out the week 1-4 and four and bounced it back. Ends up 5-7, and seven, you may say, eh. Plus 4 units, that's a bounce back and a nice way to come back. And an amazing day today, biggest day yet for 2009, as far as monitoring goes, for sharp edge plays, 8-3 and three plus 252 dimes, just fall a tad short. However... I have primetime sports advisors at 20 and 15, but down five units. If you're down the units, you can't win the winning percentage winner of the week. So unofficially, the basher is the double winner of the week. Without a doubt, he is the bankroll winner of the week. I've double-checked my records, and I think it should be okay. I just wanted to put this disclaimer in there because a lot of times people get nuts when I announce a winner of the week, and then I have to change it. I don't do it on purpose. Sometimes it just happens. Nonetheless, that's the way it goes. I have finally treated myself because T-Mobile contracts were up and my daughter really wanted to go iPhone-ish, so I worked something out with my ex-wife who was on AT&T and it was time for me to upgrade. I now hold in my hand my first ever smartphone. And I have no idea how to work it. I just know it does a ton of stuff and it's touchscreen and everything else. I've added an email account. It's actually been there a while, I just haven't made it public. It is John at PartyHelp.com. You can reach me there. I'm moving all my stuff now that I have a partner who reads every email that comes in, including personal information because family members were using it. And I thought that it's a bad thing for the partner to read it. It just, if you want me directly, you can get me John at PartyHelp.com. I will be hooking that up to the smartphone. I'm doing it. The other ones I'm just going to leave just to the computer because when multiple people hit them, then emails start missing and everything else. And I don't want to do that. But I'm very excited. We'll see how T-Mobile does. The cool part about them is I've, I hate, you've heard me do many bad videos about this company. They actually let me make payments on this. Because it's quite an expensive phone. And I think it's ridiculous with these costs, but I'll say, John, you are technology, technology, technology. Well, welcome to 2009, Mr. John. The other thing that I'm going to upgrade is I started looking at some sales ads for Black Friday. Now, there ain't no way I'm doing Black Friday. Nonetheless, the sales of some of them continue through the week. If anyone has one of these Sony Webby cameras, they're about 170 bucks, 149 if you'd look on eBay. They're called Webbies. They come in purple, orange, a couple different colors. Do you like it? Do you not like it? It's a high definition camera. The amazing, amazing that the prices have come down on these things. I would like to purchase that camera for that particular price range. Or if there's a recommendation you have, email me info probably help or John at probably help. help. Um, I want to start shooting the videos in high def to make them a little better, a little clearer. These look like I have raccoon eyes under. It's just it's a family inheritance. There you go. It should give you something to laugh at. And then eventually, once we get rolling a little more, I'm going to try and get some better lighting. But the, the HD to start, I think, anyway. Let me know what you think about these cameras. They're called Sony Webbies. Do you have one? Have you used one? You know, a friend has one. Does an uncle have one? An aunt, sister, brother, mother? Anything along those lines? How's the new site look? Now, it was interesting because the first time in a while I had my laptop out tonight. I only usually just use that for DJ. That's when I play all the music off. But the, something was going on here. We were trying to get something set up on an IRC network for another chat room that we're going to start doing. And uh, I had to use that along with the Mac. And my roommate was doing something with his computer. 
And uh, I was just curious, because that's old Windows XP, but it, it runs fine for DJ, and Virtual DJ runs phenomenally on it, and I just leave it alone, because if it ain't broke, in that case, on wood, don't fix it. Nonetheless, I popped it up, and I looked at the website in IE6. Now, most companies and websites are going away from IE6. If you're not on IE7 or 8, you might as well just give it up. This, that, you know, the site looks totally different on IE6. Not all the, the VIP stuff shows up. The charts actually look better than on the newer ones. But what do you think of the look of the site? Do you like it? Which web browser do you use? Lots of questions for you guys. Remember, Wednesday, biggest party night of the year. I am starting at 7 o'clock at night and going till 5 in the morning. I'm not getting out of there till 7. There is no video. There is no post. There is no nothing. I will put up the NFL chart. Because there is NFL on Thursday. In fact, there's three games. The basketball chart will be underneath this chart because there's tons of NBA. Once we get out of December and we're into football playoffs, at that point in time, I will start a college bowl chart and a college NCAA basketball chart from that date forward. These other games will not count. By that time, all the cappers should get a good look and feel of how it goes. So there it is. Quite a bit of information. You know the email addresses. Email me. I love to hear from you guys. Emails have been a little bit slow lately aside of picks, but uh, haven't heard from a lot of guys I used to hear from. Love getting the emails and at least trying to read through them. We're here. We're two days away. Actually, one day away at the time of this video from our first major holiday in the holiday season of 2009. And I have my first smartphone. How about that? We'll see everyone tomorrow night for the last video. Till. Thanksgiving night. As it stands now, unofficial, double win of the week, bookiebashersports.com. More than likely, I'm pretty sure that my chart is correct. And he will be the double winner of the week, without a doubt, the bank world winner of the week. And as I said, Basher came out on top. Nick Anthony came out on top. It was a very rough week. Nice job the Sharp Edge plays as they bounce back. 45 and 42. Wow. A lot of games still up 8.5 dimes. They had a nice comeback. And Mick from Top Shelf Chicago bounced back from a 1-4 record, 5-7, and seven, up plus 4 units a week. Congrats to him. We'll see everyone tomorrow night. And then, no video Wednesday. The number one sports monitor on the internet. If you have one of these Sony Webbies, email me. I really want to know about them. Is it worth the $170 investment to go high def? I know Sony's got memory sticks and all that. I'm not really concerned about that because I shoot the video live from the camera right into the Mac. I can worry about memory sticks. I know it doesn't come with one, but I can worry about all that later. And the camera I actually use is FireWire. That's going to go USB. I don't th I don't know with high def. Email me, info or john at parlayhelp.com. I want to know about these cameras. Congratulations to the basher. Double winner of the week.